perfected art, including the fine art of deception. Outwardly, his expression was calm, bored even, the portrait of royal indolence. His nearly black hair was combed perfectly, his cool, arrogant features set into that troublesome half-smirk that easily won lovers to his bedchamber. It was just another pretty deception. Inside, he raged, that emotion blazing so wildly that his brother, Wrath, the king of demons, would sense the disturbance from his circle and eventually come sniffing around. Envy had gotten good at pretending over the years, a necessity to save his court. He knew what others saw when they looked at him. The mask he'd crafted of a handsome, devil-may-care prince who liked games and riddles. He understood that the well-dressed exterior and disarming dimples he rarely flashed was simply two more weapons in his arsenal. Clever ways to hide the dangerous demon lurking beneath his chiseled facade. The ruthless prince, who'd long since lost any sense of morality when it came to accomplishing his goals. Envy picked up the feather, his thumb brushing the emerald plumage almost in reverence, until that feeling gave way to something darker. The feather was a reminder of the time his own edges had been more soft than hard, and the note itself was a warning that a new game was beginning. Be ready. That at least was a challenge Envy intended to win. He'd been waiting for this game to start for more than half a century now, watching his court slide closer toward ruin every year. In being soft, in making that one mistake, Envy had damned them all. That was a secret that wouldn't remain hidden from his brothers for long, especially if things continued as they were. Already the signs were clear enough, should anyone look closely. It was apparent in the way Envy's courtiers grew foggy, or that constant half-second delay amid conversation, as if they couldn't recall where they were or who they were speaking with. Thus far it only lasted for a heartbeat, but it would worsen. Time would see to that. And Envy knew that the fey bastard would draw the game out, wait as long as possible to start, just to weaken Envy as much as he could. Envy, like all his brothers, drew his power from provoking his sin, and a court in peril was the envy of no one. His court's falling would toss their realm into chaos, even opening for others, like this devious game master, to try to infiltrate. If Envy's brothers knew how dire the situation was, well, he'd make sure they'd never find out. Let them think he was playing one more frivolous game, with nothing driving him other than his need to win to inspire Envy to stoke his sin. They'd expect nothing less after all his careful maneuvering. Envy stared at his face in the mirror one last time, ensuring that there were no cracks showing no hint of his true feelings bleeding through his favorite mask, then tucked the feather into his waistcoat and crumpled the note in his fist. When the time came, Envy would play the game. He'd reclaim what was his, restore his court, and he'd never endanger his circle by becoming intrigued by a mortal again. Envy tossed the parchment into the fireplace, watching the flames destroy the letter from that cursed prick vowing to one day see the Game Master reduced to ash, too. And just like the fire contained within his private study, inside, envy burned. Several decades later. Oi! Want to ride the famed one-eyed monster that's painted on my ceiling, darling? As Lord Nylar reigns, stumbled up the dais to the throne, mocking the Prince of Envy's legendary bedchamber art. He became dimly aware that something, aside from the obvious treason he was committing, was very wrong with him. And yet, try as he might, he didn't exactly care enough to stop his unseemly antics. Who wants to see if life truly imitates art? Reigns pointed to the buxom brunette standing nearest. For the life of him, he couldn't recall her name, which also struck him as rather odd. Deep down, he felt as if he'd known her for ages and had never leered at her like some degenerate from House Lust, one of their rivals.